Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel Siblings React and Drink. Yeah. My name is Rick. This is my lovely sister. Janice. And what the heck are we doing today? <laughs> so we're doing, we're continuing with Band of Brothers, episode 8, I believe. The Last Patrol. The Last Patrol, okay. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that means. Yeah, uh, I'm wondering that myself. Just want to see, you know, what's coming in this episode. Is the war ending? Um... I do believe the United States did fight in Germany. We didn't go into Berlin. We let the uh, Russians go in mm. because it was going to be a bloodbath, I guess, and it was too risky or the casualties were going to be too high. We rather let the Russians go and take do the heavy fighting and it was a bitch because then they didn't want to leave. <laughs> yeah. Everything they took, they 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 kept basically. I mean, and they divided Berlin in two, mm -hmm. east and west. Right, right, right. Uh, after some arguing with the Russians, but yeah, it wasn't. Uh, they did all kinds of uh, war crimes there too, as mm -hmm. they were, you know, going yeah. house to house, things they did to the German women. Oh and, man, you know, this is terrible stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But the United States, yeah, did not really participate in the fighting mm -hmm. of Berlin. But maybe we're somewhere outside, you know, I don't know. But the last patrol, I mean, I don't know, somebody's going to die, that's his last patrol? Yeah, I Or does it mean maybe. that that's the last yeah. war ending? But it's only episode 8. Yeah. And it's 10, so yeah. I guess we'll find out. Right. Any ideas? You th what, do you th what do you think that it means? I mean, like, kind of like what you're saying, you know, it could be either of those or it could be something else. Little you know? sisters, man, always copycatting. All right. <laughs> Make us do all the hard thinking. So I'm, I was playing mixologist again. And so this these have a shot of vodka, a shot of uh, coffee liqueur, and apple cranberry juice. So, okay. let's see what that's about. Coffee, Cheers to that. vodka, and what? Cranberry? A cr apple cranberry. Hmm. Wow. You can't even taste the coffee. I taste the coffee. Oh, you do? A I little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't taste the vodka. It tastes good. Like, overall, I like it. Well, cheers, y'all. Cheers. Chin chin. I like it. You know, it's different tastes. Yeah. With the cranberry and coffee and stuff. I don't taste any vodka at all. Mm. I do feel it in my nose because I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> my first shot of vodka, I always sneeze. Yeah, that's so funny. For some reason. Mm. But it's stuck there. <laughs> Remember, right. if uh, you want to watch the full, unedited, uncut version of our reaction, you can do that on our Patreon. Join Patreon and you can get early access and full, uncut reactions also to become a youtube member you can get early access and the youtube edited version of it ad free both of those are ad free so yeah. that's a good benefit guys and other stuff on the full watch along you you know it's mm -hmm. uncut so we see some of the bloopers or the crazy stuff we say you mean yeah stuff <laughs> that happens uh that doesn't go into the main YouTube channel. Uh, so without further ado, let me turn this on. That was messed up how this guy, oh man. Yeah, Dyke's always. Yeah, he was always like leaving. Well, they relieved him last time, right? Or he. Like he just... literally just did not know what to do. He just. That's why he kept running away. Right, to panic. Well, he didn't know what to do anyway. Right. Like some people should not be right. in command. Just because you went to college doesn't mean you're a good... I don't know the exact amount of men that got killed in that. Uh, but... Uh, hmm. Oh, man. Well, yeah, man. You've been together since training, right? Uh, two years earlier. I believe I might be able to live through it. So walk carefully. Take care of yourself. Oh, I can't even imagine what it's like to be in those situations. And from what they were saying, these people were in for the duration. You know, it's not like you had a time limit, you know, like uh, another right. other movies I've seen. They're like short timers. Oh, right. I got 
two more months or a week, fewer days left. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys were in for the duration of the war right. and then six months. What happened to Captain Winters? He's running the whole battalion now. Yeah, but a, lot huh? it, a lot has changed since a lot has changed since the last day. Oh yeah, day. I wonder how long you. Oh, because I had missed Bastone, I was treated as a replacement and felt like I was starting all over again. Wow. Which he kind of is, you know. Yeah. Sergeant Lipton. Yeah. Hey, look what I found. Feeling all right? There you go. Oh man. <laughs> but these guys are different breed, man. They're freaking sick and everything, and they don't leave the line. They. Toy didn't have boots on, and he, I'm not leaving the line. That's how, you know, but this guy loyal is, and dedicated. This guy's and, normal. <laughs> had to be a full moon. So much for the cover of darkness. Yeah. That moonlight, is, it's enough to to see, you know, what's happening. Who's this Oh, one? look, it's uh, Colin Hanks. Don't get hurt. Like to volunteer for the patrol? <laughs> Just ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just tell you to don't get hurt? <laughs> mm. Spots. Yeah. Wow, that was close. Wow, yeah. Too close. Oh, oh yeah, they spotted you for sure. Mm. I mean, just imagine hearing those noises and you know something's coming and like you're like, where? You know, it's yeah. terrible for them. How do you know it's all clear? <laughs> Imagine having to go to work like that. Yeah, <laughs> Just go it. to the office. <laughs> the things we take for granted, you know what I mean? This is a prison snatch, right? Hey, Chuck, listen to this. Come on, what? Yeah, those missions are hard, man, because yeah. you're being shot at, but you've got to capture prisoners, not kill them. And with the moon, the moonlight, it's yeah. just going to give them away. Yeah, it's... It's, it's harder. They have roofs over their heads, sir, just like us. I don't think anybody wants to do anything stupid at this point, right? Let's <laughs> <laughs> wait till it gets get wor uh, warmer. The PX rations just came in. Ah. Shoe packs. Beautiful. Yeah, finally, right? One of them. Now we're in the nice warm. Now the winter's almost over, apparently? Yeah. Did I say what date this was? Uh, it was February. Oh. So it's well, still, I mean, yeah, there's still, still, there's still snow on the ground. Yeah, it looks slushy, so I figured it was, yeah, Yeah, I guess you could still use them, but. But it's kind of late, yeah, it's late in the winter, yeah. you know, already. Like, March could potentially be spring already, you know? <laughs> yeah, a couple of 88s to keep you mm. not sleeping. Ah, oh, son of a gun. See, just never know, man. He was dead before Doc Rowe even heard the call for a medic. Mm. That direct hit, I <sighs> guess. Look at his body still smoking. Yeah. So always somebody pissed off at somebody, somebody for stupid shit, you know? Yeah. Probably had a shower this morning when he left the hospital. Right. He's clean, clean shaven. Oh, at least they got hot water. Yeah. Colin Hanks too. Like he just, he's, you know, you could tell they just, they yeah, just yeah. got there, you know. Fresh off the boat. If it was possible mm. for them to switch places for the patrol, it would be a small moment of justice, as welcome as a hot shower and a fresh uniform. Mm. What are you, Mr. Justice person? Replacement lieutenant blew his foot off, stepped on his shoe mine. Fred? Oh, oh, man. Empty handed. No shit. He was a friend of yours, lieutenant. You bet. And there's mines too in this town? Yeah. Fine, you can go. There'll be a briefing. CP 1700. Yes, sir. Okay. This guy wants to see some action before he goes, huh? Mm. Nice to get out of everything. Whatever. Oh, that's why he said a little, just <laughs> well, a little bit. Well, it's, everyone's different. I mean, some guys are volunteering to go, and this guy wants to not go. Yeah. Uh, you said 15 men. There's 16 of us, including two translators. Fine. Uh, hey, look that. You wanna sit this one out? Uh, 
That's not exactly what he was trying to do. Nothing rattles, nothing shines, no helmets. I always volunteer for stuff, but I never actually been shot at. <laughs> volunteer to a place where I'm gonna get killed. Well, right. That's the thing. You know? um, it's totally different. Yeah, they don't want any problems, you know. Yeah, of course. And I think it's fair for him to go. He's been out of the action for a while. Yeah, but you, guy you saw gives, how he came back, though. Just being gone for, you know, however many months, he, three or four months, months. or more. Was enough to, like, he, like, he reset. Where, you know, he's there and he's like, his guard is down. You know what I mean? And then he hears something and it's like, whoa, like, more than yeah. usual, you know? But he's got experience and he's fresh. So I think it's a... Yeah. It's a good choice than the other guy that's tired. I mean, they're all the, most of these guys are really tired. But oh, yeah. Not only tired, but, you know, mentally. Being under stress the whole time. That Bastone thing was no fun, man. Freezing right. your ass off and... I mean, mentally, physically exhausted by that, you know, everything. I still remember what the one guy said, uh, the, what the better one said at the beginning. I said that we were down to, like, one bullet yeah. per person. Yeah. Mostly they were just taking artillery shelling. Okay, no roaring, so. Right, that's so nice. don't make noise. Man, so somebody had to, somebody went across oh, already. Oh, shit, those guys fell in. tie the rope on the other side. That sucks for them. Plus now they're making more noise, Yeah. So. Shit, man. I don't know how deep this is. I don't think it's... It's not that deep, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Not till spring, that's when they really... You know, the river starts swelling up. Right. Okay. Got like a grenade launcher. Oh, shit. She told him to wait. See, these guys... Going too fast. Stop! Oh my god! Fuck! Twice! He wasn't. He wasn't listening, or he couldn't hear them, or something. Is that the new guy, the mail carrier? Jackson. No, Jackson was the other kid. That when he saw him in the truck, he's like, "You're Jackson, right?" Ah. Uh. Like he, I think he was one of the newer guys. They stopped on the first time, and then the second time they didn't. Oh my god. Oh, he's toast. Oh man. The guy spraying over him or something? No, he's like in shock. Oh man, like half his face is gone. <laughs> practically. Or very injured. And I got it now. Somebody in the comments told us it's every five bullets, every five rounds, there's a tracer. Oh, yeah. So every time you see those little lights, there's yeah. five bullets in between. Yeah, yeah. See? Those, <laughs> you yeah. see those? Right. Okay. Damn. They're gonna light up the town now with the machine guns. Is that Colin blowing the whistle? No, 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 no. They gave that to a uh, McCollin, I think, or uh, some sergeant. It feels like a lifetime, you know. Yeah. Well, why didn't they have a medic waiting there? You know. I knew they were coming back from a weird mission. Right. It was just one more casualty in a war that was supposed to be all but over. It's not over till it's over, man. For a lot of these soldiers, they still died when they came back home, you know? Couldn't deal with it. Any others? No, sir. Well, that's not what the report's gonna say. Mm. He died heroically. <laughs> it's not your fault. 
Yeah, but that's twice. They stopped on the first time, and the second time they didn't. Uh, no, they kept calling his name. But he yeah, but they, the first time they grabbed him, I guess he was able to grab him. But when um, he threw the grenade, <sighs> shit, man, it's all in the heat of the moment, man. Yeah. Fuck his misery. I can't listen to it anymore. Sit. Oh, he's screwed because his men can't come and get him because this too close to the river. Right. So he's gonna be agonizing there for yeah a few hours. That guy's at least they got wine here. Mm. Ah, uh -huh. he's smoking after the first day. <laughs> what you looking at, Webster? Ah, fuck you, guy. Have you breathed the man? Uh, just on our way, sir. All right. In fact, I'm sure you remind them how proud I am of what they did. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think this works anymore. Might have worked when, at the beginning. Pride and honor and all that stuff. Which means in the morning, you will report to me that you made it across yeah. the river into German lines. We're unable to secure any live prisoners. Okay. Learning how it's done, Lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Fresh out of... The academy? Yeah. Understand? Yes, sir, sir, sir. <laughs> Not really, but... Uh, yeah, they're like... You don't need... We understood enough. <laughs> they're like, is he saying what we think he's saying? Well, that's good, man. That's a good... Uh, yeah. Commander here. Right. Congratulations. Good luck. All right. Thank you, sir. You got promoted and transferred to the rear. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they didn't spend all that time sending him, you know, training him in in the academy. What do you call that? Uh, where did he graduate from? West, West Point. Point. West Point. We have an uncle that graduated from West Point. Yeah. Tio Arturo. Oh, and he was a paratrooper. Remember, he used to do those exhibition mm. jumps. Oh, yeah, he got promoted too. Mm -hmm. Man, those three prisoners did pay out then. Or two prisoners. Congratulations, Major. Wow. Nice. Good. He got the oak leaves or something. I think yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. They get yeah. the. And he's so like, uh, what is it called? Like, he doesn't even think he deserves it or something. Yeah. You know? So humble. Or he or... just, uh, shit, more paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. well, How could anyone ever know of the price paid by soldiers in terror? Ag yeah. If they'd never been to places like Normandy, they can't. Uh, I'll never understand. Uh, Easy Company's European campaign had taken them from England to France, Holland, and Belgium. Soon they would be entering Germany. Oh. Okay. So. Oh man, I mean he's right. It's one of those things that unless somebody was there, yeah, I would say look at this crazy guy, man. He, he threw a grenade and walked right in. You know, by the heat of the moment, man, you're like the adrenaline's going. And anyway, that uh, what were you saying? Sorry. No, that it's just he's right. You know what he was saying that most people have no idea. I'm still wearing. This. I always leave this on. Uh, you know, they have no idea what that was like, what they were going through or anything, you know. But the thing is, some people, like, have zero idea and they're just like, whatever. And other people can imagine it, but it's never going to be the same as actually being there. Going through it, experiencing everything. How scary it must be, how painful in some cases, you know. It's just... I mean, I fired, obviously, I, you know, I fired uh, handguns, uh, pistols, revolvers, rifles. But never in combat, right. you know, never at a human being or having someone hitting, shooting me back. Right, the same here. I've, I've uh, shot, you know, to yeah. the targets or whatever. It's never the same at all. Yeah, it's just part of it, you know. Like, I hope never to have to shoot a person. That's got to be horrible, something you never forget. I mean, I'll, I always think of, uh, it's a movie where Gene Hackman talks about it's a western with Gene Hackman. He goes, look, this is as fast as I can shoot. Yeah, being fast on the draw 
it's helpful, but it doesn't make you win a gunfight. Yeah. It's, you got to keep your cool. Right. So some people are so fast, but they end up shooting their foot because they get nervous. You know, it's, you got to be able to maintain your cool yeah. in a gunfight. Right. Uh, in order to, to survive it, you know, and it was mm -hmm. pretty cool. Look at him, you know, he's, he's so nervous, so anxious. All he had to do was wait a few more seconds for the grenade to explode. Jackson. And, yeah, yeah, and then walk in. He walked in too fast, he was rushing. And that's what happens when you rush, you, you're going to make yeah. mistakes, you know. Yeah. Well, anyway, they got two prisoners that didn't get any useful intel, apparently, from what we... Yeah. yeah, Nixon said, mm -hmm. but they did get promotions. Yeah, Winters got promoted. I'm not. Sh I'm sure this has something to do with it. The successful mission, or maybe he was going to get one anyway. Yeah. Uh, who else got a promotion? Lipton. The new, huh? Lipton. Well, Lipton, he got that. From oh, before. he had that already. Yeah, uh, Jones, the new guy, uh, Colin Hanks, he got one. Yeah, he got one, um, and he's. They're going to use them back in battalion, I guess, or yeah, somewhere in the rear. <sighs> and I don't know who else, but anyway, that was great. It's a great episode, great, great lesson. And now they're actually going to move into Germany. Yep. That should be interesting. Mm -hmm. I do know that U.S. did not fight in taking over Berlin. Mm -hmm. uh, they, the Russians did. We let them do it. Uh, it was a lot of casualties there. You know, urban warfare is always the worst, especially a big city like that. Yeah, right. So anyway, um, make sure join the Patreon if you want to see the full uncut version of uh, this uh, reaction and other great titles that we have there. House of the Dragon uh, and a bunch of other movies. Okay. Anything else you want to say? No. I'm pretty much... Uh, done with my drink yeah so i'm gonna do refills and yep. maybe we'll watch the next one see ya later <laughs>